Cindy here, physical therapist with Adaptive Equipment and Caregiving Corner. Today we are going to take a look at a product called the Functional Hand that was given to us for review by TheraSolutions. The company owners and designers of the Functional Hand are occupational therapist Linda Mary and physical therapist Celine Skirdich. So if you find this video helpful, be sure to like and share it on Facebook and Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check us out at aecorner.com. So let's get started. So this is the functional hand. It was designed for individuals who have difficulty with grasping or gripping or holding on to objects. It was made for a variety of individuals from children to adults and can assist for individuals with varying levels of ability. The functional hand was ergonomically designed to fit inside the hand. So you can see the thickness here, it fits inside the hand. It has this V shape area with rubber gaskets where the object can sit right here without sliding. It also has this elastic cord that allows you to adjust it and then pull snug to hold the object firmly in the functional hand. So you can use the functional hand in both a vertical and a horizontal orientation. And let me demonstrate what I'm talking about here. So if I was using, let's say, let's say this was a marker and I was using it on a whiteboard, I could use it actually up this direction in a vertical orientation. Or if I was using this pen, I could use it this way in a horizontal orientation. And bonus, this is dishwasher safe. So I first took a look at the functional hand and tried to use it in several different things. So I did use it. I was able to use it with my toothbrush and brush my teeth. No problem there. I was also able to use it uh, helping me apply my deodorant. Now, one thing with this is I put it in the functional hand as described, but when I went to put it on, you know, of course I cinched this down, but when I went to put it on, the deodorant stick actually flipped in the functional hand this direction, but it just so happens to be a super duper shape that fits that well, and I just pulled the cord tight onto the deodorant and it worked just fine that way as well. So that worked out well. Um, the next thing I tried was a water bottle. Now, if you listen to this, the integrity of this water bottle is very flimsy. So it didn't work on this, but it's going to work on a lot of them. It's just going to depend on how sturdy uh, something like this is. It did, though, work on my soda bottle. Um, the other thing I did use it for was to take the lid off of my face lotion this morning. That worked well. And that's similar to what I have here, which is the Play-Doh. Now, I know this is for kids, but I actually like Play-Doh myself. So I wanted to try this. So it fits in here very well. Now, I did notice I just have to be careful when I'm taking the lid off this. I can't pull against this direction. But if I apply a little bit of pressure toward the functional hand, it's very easy for me to get this lid off of the Play-Doh. So let's take some time now and check in with our OT, Becca, to see what she thought about the functional hand. Okay, so we have Becca, our OT, with us, and we're going to talk to her a little bit. So, Becca, um, the functional hand, what do you think about it as far as you and I work in the geriatric population? One of our main goals is to keep our people as independently functioning as possible. So do you think you would use this product with your clients, and if so, how would you use it? Absolutely. I think it's a lovely product that you can just so easily add it into um, any client, patient's um, typical day. Um, anything and everything that they use to grab onto is something that you can use the functional hand with. So whether that's feeding them, those basic things that they do throughout the day, feeding, eating, um, brushing their teeth, brushing their hair, um, to more of those higher level things, cooking, um, cleaning. I mean, anything that you grab onto with your hand, you can Right. use the functional hand with. Awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what if I actually could not grasp or could not grip uh, the functional hand? So a great addition to that is the easy hold right here. Okay. Um, you would probably have to have somebody add that on to you before using, okay. um, but there's lots of different sizes depending on what your grip is okay. um, and your hand size, all that good stuff. Um, so this just kind of goes in like this. Yep. And, and then over your that. knuckles and it right. helps hold it. And so basically you don't really have to have, depending on the size of the easy hold, you don't have to have... Um, grip at all. You can okay. really slide your hand in there because you can see um, mm -hmm. Cindy's kind of got her hand just hanging yeah. in there. And so voila, yeah. right into all the functional tax with that. That's right. Works mm -hmm. very well. Yeah. So what if I only had the use of one hand? Would you say that we could use the functional hand? So in the long run, yes, I think you could. Um, I think our 
go to would be to have a, a caregiver or a family member um, get it all set up for before they did the activity. Okay. Um, I think with a lot, a lot of practice, if that person has one hand and they're not able to use the other hand at all, um, if they have a little bit of grip work to be able to put it in between their legs and do that whole spiel, um, I think that they could. Okay. It's probably best to use for somebody who has an activity that they're doing and it's um, you know a longer activity. So they're doing it for 20, 30 minutes. Okay. Their hand starts to get tired. Mm -hmm. So if they have enough grip strength to add whatever item you're using to the functional hand, um, get it all set up and then they're going to be doing that task for a little bit longer. Maybe they have the poor um, activity tolerance, endurance, weakness with that, mm -hmm. um, that maybe their hand cramps up or they lose the grip then. Right. It's an awesome addition for that. I think that they would be able to do with one hand, but right. again, lots of practice. Right, right. Well, sure. we all, we both know that our clients really love to play bingo and this mm -hmm. would be an added bonus for the bingo daughters, yes. uh, especially if you're doing that for a while, uh -huh. um, you know, using that and that would help with your endurance as far as yes. gripping. That. Absolutely. Awesome. The bingo daughter, um, painting your nails, painting in general, any hobby that I can think of right. that is just so meaningful to any client or person out there. Um, it's just an awesome addition to be able to use. Very cool. So this actually would be great for our geriatric population, both for fun activities as well as functional activities. Absolutely. All those meaningful, independent activities to do. That's right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Thank you so much for taking a look at this for us, Becca. Absolutely. All right. In summary, the functional hand can be used by individuals from a wide range of ages and abilities. It may be slightly limited depending on the material, size, and weight of the object you're trying to hold, but all in all, we would certainly recommend the functional hand for those individuals struggling with grasp in order to help with both the functional as well as the fun activities. Be sure to check out the comments section below for links and additional information. That's it for today from Adaptive Equipment and Caregiving Corner. Have a great day and don't forget, if you can't do it, adapt it.